you've made it to Cairo Hustle Live. Sit back and learn from the greatest influencers in the profession. This week's episode is brought to you by Clothes for Cairo, Legacy Wealth Management, Posture Screen, Imaging Services, Cairo Thin, Universal Tractioning Systems, Cairo Moguls, Zingit Solutions, Dr. Pete Goldman's Zone School of Healing, Everest Coaching Systems, Rhino Coaching, Five Star Management, The Goodman Factor, Cairo Health USA, Max Max, Mahalo Wellness, and Cairo Expert. Let's hustle. All right, so today I have Isaiah Fowler with me. He is coming in from LA, Long Beach. Is that the LBC? Yeah, that's the LBC. <laughs> All that's right. the LBC that Snoop Dogg always raps about. <laughs> yep, so um, this is a self-promoted uh, uh, podcast today. Um, this is a live stream of Cairo Hustle Afternoon Edition. And uh, today, if you look over my shoulder, I think I got, oh, wrong shoulder. Uh, new Patients in a Box logo is right up there. Um, and uh, this episode, I'm going to scroll down here and show the name is newpatientsforyou.com. So this is a self-promoted uh, episode, but really, uh, you helped me get my beginning, Isaiah. And I think that that's something I'd really like to dive into a little bit is talk a little bit um, about you as being an entrepreneur and how we hooked up, I don't know, it was like almost three years ago now. Yeah, it seems like it. it's just crazy. Time flies. It's, it's, it's crazy. I'm pretty sure it was from a uh, that click phones group, right? Actually, it was Lily Serrano. Oh, she connected us. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, she, a- <laughs> you were looking to, I mean, I think you had already like started your podcast and your platform and everything, but um, she, I guess you just wanted a little bit more uh, guidance and just to ensure that you were on the right path. And so she hit me up. She knew what I was doing and, um, you know, we connected and then you took my course and that's, I never heard from you since, man. You just ran off. Well, you know, the cool thing is, is, you know, a lot of times people don't realize that when you take your card out and you make an investment in a course and you actually use it, it actually can change your trajectory of your future. Absolutely. And I think so many times when people do something like that, they just kind of like, what did you say? Like, I was the only guy that like took the training that actually took it serious. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> literally. And look what happened. You know, like, like, I just see what you're doing and I'm like, damn, like, you know, he turned it into something rather than just being somebody who takes something, says it doesn't work or, you know, all the excuses people have. And that's it. And I just think that that's dope. And that's really what life is about is, is, is taking that, having that self accountability and just, you know, running with it and, you know, win, lose a draw. You're able to say, I won, I lost and let me refine and continue to you know make progress. And you know, I think that what you're saying is so important. And what we've been able to do is we built relationship capital because now I can see you on your journey. You can see me on my journey. We can appreciate each other, even though we leave, live in different ecosystems. We're both, sure. on, we're both on the entrepreneur hustle. For so sure. let's talk a little bit about what you've been up to. I know you came out, you got crowdfunded and you uh, released uh, some inspirational eyewear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most definitely. I launched my eyewear company in January of this year. And then what ended up happening was um, I I started outsourcing or, 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 you know, sourcing my product from China. And then after that, the first inventory run, it wasn't the best. And I had to kind of take a a loss on that. And I, I wanted to create a better product because I understood that quality is like the most important thing in business, in my opinion, especially if you have a product based company. And so I found a manufacturer in Europe and I flew out there. I went to go visit them. And from there, um, we designed our next collection. And then I was like, okay, you know, with this next rollout, I want to actually be able to put out, you know, make it an event with the launch and things like that. So we did a, a, a Kickstarter. And we raised ten thousand dollars in thirty days, and from there we're kind of just, uh, you know, we're just on a journey. I'm waiting for the the production to, to be completed so that we can, you know, move on to the next step of of, of where we want to go. So, why did you want to create like your own eyewear company, and uh, where's it where's it going to go from there? I wanted to create my own eyewear company because for so many reasons, but I wanted to build something that was 
like like in the service space space i've seen how it is and it's it's hard to really like get things to stick and so i know that when you have a product it's kind of like your your product sticks a lot more and i knew how to like connect with people and so i wanted to connect with people through the product because i've, I've had the service-based experience so now let me, you know, servitize my product. Because before I was productizing my service, but now let me flip it. And where it's going is, I, it's just the world's first inspirational eyewear company. I believe that it's the, it's, it's going to be extremely big. We're just going to need a lot of capital to, to really make it happen. But I want to change lives through eyewear, through sunglasses, through prescription frames. I want to perpetuate the, the the message that everything you do in your life starts with the vision uh, no matter where you're at you can you can create something in your mind and, and bring it to this physical reality that we're living right now yeah that's something i really uh when i saw what you were doing a couple years ago with training people how to do podcasting i was like man this guy took an idea he figured out how to monetize it and he started a movement and then i joined into it and I thought that that was super impressive because not only was I taking your course, but I was taking another course, I was taking another course. And then I was like, wow, between the three of these courses that I took, now I now I know what to do. Right, 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 right. And that's what it's all about, you know, because everybody offers something different in this world. And it's really just about taking what people have and, and you know, seeing what like, like you relate with and relate to. And then from there, you know, making it your own and, and kind of remixing it. So why, just let me ask you, why did you pick Europe of all places to go? Um, because Europe is known for quality. And when we want to talk about, you know, Swiss made watches and, and sunglasses and things like that, it just, it, the, the perception of Europe is just a lot, a lot higher and a lot better. And, you know, with tariffs in China and things like that going on, um, it, you know, everybody goes to Alibaba and it, it's, it's kind of like cookie cutter in that sense. So I wanted to do something different. I wanted to bring something different and being a direct to consumer brand, we're very transparent. So because we're transparent, I wanted to have something that I was proud to be transparent about. You know what I mean? Um, I, I don't want to be transparent and say we're manufacturing from China because everybody's going to think automatically that this stuff is cheap. So I wanted to, if I was going to be transparent, I wanted to be able to say, this is where we're getting our stuff made from. And that would make a bigger impact in our marketing efforts. So as you've gotten to where you are right now, um, what have you seen, what type of doors have opened up with you because of, you know, you going on your journey? Honestly, I would say the biggest things that have opened up is really just being that, that pioneer, that trailblazer and, I've always looked at myself as a leader, but I think that now I've really kind of been able to separate myself from a lot of people because we're in a very copy and paste society right now. And really not society, but in the ecosystem of entrepreneurship and online entrepreneurship. And so I've really seen doors open up just in my personal life in terms of how I view the world. And, you know, it's not about having an online business. It's about having a business and marketing on the internet. It's two completely different things. And my mindset has just changed so much in the past, uh, you know, 18 months. And it, it sounds like a little bit of time, but it's, it's 18 months is a long time when you're going through, it. <laughs> you know, and, and I've just been so immersed in the actual doing of everything. I haven't, you know, been too busy like, like sharing everything on social media, but things are gonna come to the forefront down the road. But I would really say the strength of relationships and the and the credibility of myself and my word has it's increased exponentially. And I just know that the way this is going to position myself and the brand, you know, in the next few years to come, it's gonna be pretty powerful. Yeah, you know, I think it's really cool to see people living in their soul genius and doing things that inspire them and doing a movement. Um, I know it doesn't come easy and it's probably a sun up to sun down type of process for you. And even when you think that you're off, you're still on. And even when you think that even when you think that you made it, you just realize that there's another wall to get over. 
Absolutely. When I, it's funny because like once I, once we raised our, our the money from Kickstarter, you know, people were like, "Oh, congrats!" You know, all this stuff, and I'm like, "You have no clue. This is literally like the first step of a whole nother freaking door that is being opened. It's like Pandora's box, you know, because yeah, we got the money, but now I have to fulfill on all the orders, like and execute properly. Mm-hmm. Like I'm responsible for the reception of all of our customers, you know. Mm-hmm. So. I don't even think about, I don't get excited about $10,000 because, you know, people may look at it and, it, you know, the, the uneducated person is going to say, uh, you know, you made $10,000. I didn't make $10,000. My company generated $10,000, which is operating capital for our production. You know, so it's like, I just think it's very fascinating how people see things. And um, I don't look at a win as, as much anymore because i just look at it all as this this never-ending journey and we're just building and building and building you know yeah i i totally get it man you know i i've been funded off of indiegogo for two documentaries so i realized what it took to build a documentary i realized what it was like to write a movie i realized what it was like to distribute a movie campaign for a movie and then to disseminate it and to get it on to uh amazon prime and you know to really give something that came out of thin air bring yeah. it down and to create something then give it legs and let it walk yeah and i think i think that that's the part where you're at right now is you're like man people do want to give you like the quick clap and they want to say you know you did it and you're like nah <laughs> it just got me to the point to fulfill the order and now it gets right. me to the point to like build the dream bigger and yeah and keep you know that what? momentum going yeah, one of the things I did want to ask you though is like, who in this like as you became an entrepreneur, who have you looked up to? Um, I think that's very interesting because I don't, I don't really look up to anybody, especially anymore, because the copy and paste world, man, it's like everybody says the same things. And so once I started to study, you know, marketers or, you know, people who are who are, you know, very, very influential in this world who were who are gone, you know, Aristotle and, you know, all these old time, you know, greats. Everything is kind of like I operate off of principles now. So I'll study people from history because, you know, MLK created a movement, right? Like people who created the true movement, it's just certain principles they operated off of. And it doesn't matter if, you know, it's we're in 2020 or, or 2068 or whatever, it's going to be kind of the same thing. So like, I always took things from people, but I never like really looked up to anybody. Um, my greatest inspiration, honestly, is Snipsy Hustle, And that's kind of where it's where I've been at the past four years or so. Um, but you know, I take things from Russell Brunson. Um, I've taken things from a few other like, like, un, like, like on the low people. You know, not people that people don't really know, but I know like they're they're getting results and they're making money. So um, it's not too many like big names that I've like looked up to per se. You've made it to Cairo Hustle Live. Sit back and learn from the greatest influencers in the profession. This week's episode is brought to you by Close for Cairo, Legacy Wealth Management, Posture Screen, Imaging Services, Cairo Thin, Universal Tractioning Systems, Cairo Moguls, Zingit Solutions, Dr. Pete Goldman's Zone School of Healing, Everest Coaching Systems, Rhino Coaching, Five Star Management, The Goodman Factor, Cairo Health USA, Bax Max, Mahalo Wellness, and Cairo expert, let's hustle. Yeah, you know, I, I always like to see where people get their inspiration from. Yeah, and I, I know that we all have somebody that you know, kind of, we take a little bit from here, we take a little bit there. Before we know it, we got a dollar. You know, so I, I think it's really cool to oh, see, sure. like, you know, Nipsey Hustle. A lot of people don't know who that guy is, um, but isn't he a rapper? Yeah, he's a rapper. He's from uh, South Central LA, and um, I honestly like. Looking at how rappers that are bosses, not just rappers who are popular, but rappers who are bosses and have a, a, a physical business infrastructure and entity, I study them because 
you know, building a business is like, you know, step by step cause and effect. But building a business as a rapper, it's extremely hard because you have to, you know, you have so many different things that you're that you're doing. So, you know, when you're a rapper and you're able to build a business and an infrastructure and have a team, I think it's a lot more challenging to go that route. So I study them because it's more challenging. So if I apply, if I study what they did in, in, in a realm that's more challenging and I apply it to just building a simple business, I feel like I'll be able to like exponentially like get results, if that makes sense. Oh yeah. And you know, I, I think that that's really cool because you know, I think it was, uh, gosh, Tony Robbins said success leaves clues. And I think, I think that when you see the success of somebody else that you either uh, aspire to be like, or you can like take a part of them and emulate and you can like look at the blueprint and you can say, wow, this stuff just makes sense. And right. that works. For, it works for that guy. I don't want to be that guy, but I want to take a little bit about what that guy's doing. And that creates a movement. And Absolutely. like you said, everything is kind of copy and paste, but you know what people buy into? They buy into the charismatic leader. Exactly. They, they buy into the guy with the vision. Exactly. That's, that's why when you first came out with that brand, you know, it takes a vision. I was just like, right. I like this guy because right. not only did he develop a great logo, he developed a concept around it. And then he started doing action with it. Right. And right. that became your identity. Right. And that's something I, from the jump, I, I was really impressed by. Yeah. Um, let's, let's, let's share with people maybe one thing that they don't know about you. I um, mean, it's a lot of people don't know about me. <laughs> um, I'm really like, it's funny because I think that, not even I think, I know that like, I am very charismatic and, and people, they do buy into me and people buy into me without knowing, you know, one thing about me. It's, you know, like, I mean, people don't even know I'm 28. People think I'm like 39. <laughs> you know what I mean? And not because like I look old or anything, but just because the the content that i share and the things that i speak about you know i've been married i've been divorced i've lost a good eighty thousand dollars in cash i've lost two houses you know and this was all right before i launched the podcast so um it's been it's been a very 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 interesting and, and, and challenging and demanding journey that i've been on but i just never gave up and one of my biggest things is just persistence you know if you just never give up and just stay in the ring you'll you'll see the results that you want eventually it may not come you know a year from now three weeks from now like the people are marketing but you know this is really a long marathon and you just have to you just have to know how to endure and have perseverance and persistence and you'll see the things that you want to see in your life come to fruition so what was the one thing that you did that like set you free I know that you said you've been through like some some struggles, but what was the one thing that you did that changed it? Um, the one thing that set me free, I would say, you have to you have to literally forgive yourself for the things that you're you're keeping you know you're you're being hard on yourself on. You know, you have to literally embrace where you're at right now and understand that today is not the end of, of, of the world. And, um, you know, this is a, this is literally a, a long term thing. So once I just like embraced where I was at and I embraced, I, I understood the game that I was playing from day one. I've been playing a long game, but I, I, I never wanted I never accepted the fact that I was playing a long game. I was. You know, it was like I was playing a long game, but I had like a short term mindset, you know. So it's like once you kind of understand who you are and where you're at and you understand the power that you harness and you understand. I think the what I if I could point something down, it would be I understand my advantages in this world, in this life. And, and I I literally doubled down on that, you know, and my advantages, my charisma and the fact that I've been through so much. I know how to tell stories around it. So once I just doubled down on that and I stopped caring about trying to keep up with the marketing Joneses and trying to, you know, do this and, and, and keep up with this person and stuff, it was like, I literally don't care about what anybody else is doing. I'm just focused on building something that's real that to me and that I'm proud to have in this world. Yeah, I think that that's so cool. And like our relationship will only grow on from here. 
you know, I, I just love the fact that I was able to like learn from you early on in my podcasting career. Yeah. Um, I was just talking to a guy yesterday. He's up in Canada and he's starting a podcast. And I was like, hey, bro, don't care about your first 10. Think about your hundredth. What does your hundredth look like? For sure. And, and that's really what you're talking about is it's it's not the sprint that wins the game. It's the guy that goes the distance. Yeah. The, yeah. The person who's willing to literally condition himself every day and then, you know, um, go in the ring. And, you know, if you get a bloody eye, you still go back in the third, fourth, fifth round. Like just because you got a black eye or a bloody eye in round two, that doesn't mean the fight is over as long as you go back in the ring you'll, you know, you still have a fighting chance. And I think that it's so important to every day you need to give yourself a fighting chance, you know? Like, if you don't put product out there, you don't have the possibility to get a sale, you know? And a lot of people, they don't put it out there, so nothing's going to come back. And so it's important to understand, like, the law of, like, circulation. And, like, you know, if, if you're hoarding money, you're not putting money out there to work for you to bring it back. So it's like life is about this consistent flow of uh, and things circulating so that, you know, it could it could leave and come back to you in a, in, a, in a fluent and a harmonic way. I love that, man. And, you know, my favorite type of people to work with are the ones that have been nicked up. Yeah. Yeah. I, lo I, I love the guy that's been out there and nicked up and hadn't made it out there right. two, two to five years. Yeah. And then, I, then I can say, you know what, if you just spend a weekend with me, I can change all that for you. Right, 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 right. It's real, man, because like a lot of people just need that like one tweak or like they just a lot of people just need to focus. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people need to stop trying to build an agency and then do this and do this and just, you know, focus on one thing. And it may take you three years to, to make it come to fruition, but, you know, it'll be so much more fulfilling when you have one big thing rather than like a whole bunch of small things and you're scraping, you know, money from four streams of income, you know, just to like pay your bills. You know, I don't want to live that life. Well, one of my mentors I really look up to is John Demartini. He said overnight success takes 25 years. It does. And I, I truly see it now. You know, people look at me as successful. And, you know, I haven't hit my first million, but I, I truly believe that I'm more valuable than some people who have hit their first million too fast. You know, I don't want to hit I don't want to hit all this money without being the person who deserves the money because it's, it's, it's empty, you know. It's, Amen. <laughs> so that that's kind of my, my my philosophy behind it. And so you know, I put character in front of how much you made because I don't care about your money, your 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 car, your how. I don't care. What is the character of the person who possesses these material things? Because that's going to dictate our relationship and how we interact with each other and things like that. You know. Yeah, well, I, I appreciate you getting real with me today. I know our time's coming up on the end. Uh, if people want your sunglasses, how do they get them? Um, go to swabeyewear.com, S-W-A-V, eyewear, S-W-A-V stands for starts with the vision because I believe that everything you do in your life starts with the vision. Um, we have our old inventory on the website. I'm really not pushing it because I'm waiting for the new inventory, hence the better quality. Um, but, you know, you go to the website, we have our pixel there, so, you know, we'll be able to remarket to you later on down the road. <laughs> well, I appreciate you uh, sharing a little bit about how you got to where you are today, uh, some things that people might not have known about you, and sharing so openly with our audience today. Um, it's just a real blessing to get to know you, man. Um, from the jump, when I first met you, I was just like so like excited to learn from you, so I know other people are going to be attached to you as well. And it's SWV. SWAV. SWAVIwear.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and All right. like, likewise, man, you know, um, and, and I know that it's real what you said because you actually made an investment. Like a lot of people will say things, but they won't put, you know, the money where their mouth is. And the, the way that I, the life that I live in is like, you know, money is the physical form of belief. A lot of people have said they believe in me, but they didn't put any money down. And it's like, you know, you can say that, but I don't know if you're, you're, you're serious because, you know, if you believe in me so much, then, you know, spend a hundred dollars with us, you know? So <laughs> most, most definitely. And I, I respect it as well. Well, I learned from you, dude. I was like, if this guy can get me to pay him a hundred bucks and his, his thing is to get a thousand bucks. I was like, I'm going to make an investment because whatever he's selling, I'm going to learn from. Absolutely. And I always want to just put out the best, you know, I want to put out the most potent information possible 
Um, I don't want to. I'm not about the hype and the and the, the schemes and you know all the techniques. I I just want to you know do good business and I want to give people good quality information that they can live their life by and go go out and make some money within the world right now. You know, without paying me a dime because I feel like that's where the true value lies in this world. Well, do me a favor. Uh, when we're done, put the link to where people can get your eyewear in the comments down there and sure. uh, just share this to your network as well. Um, with that being said, if you guys are interested in uh, what I do and getting new patients into your office, um, our website is newpatientsforyou.com. And Isaiah, man, I appreciate you being on with me today. Um, our, our tagline is you're just one story away. Keep hustling. And I know that you resonate with that too. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And you keep you keep hustling too, man, because it's you know it's really cool to see what you've been able to do. You know, you didn't quit, you didn't stop, and uh, you didn't you know inbox me every day a, a, a small question on how do I do this. You know, it's like you just went and did it, and I I just respect that because a lot of people they don't have that in them. Well, you know what I did that set me apart from the rest of them? I built a team around me. Uh, that's important. I learned that the hard way too. <laughs> oh so, yeah, like I'm about to uh, bring on a video guy. You know, okay. So, yeah, like like it's yeah. Team is extremely important. Well, so, if there's anything I can ever help you do to get to the next stage, uh, reach out to me anytime. Just inbox me that one small thing. Likewise, man. For real. <laughs> All right, man. Well, uh, have a great rest of your day, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Okay. All uh, right, you too. All right, see you soon. Thank you for listening to Cairo Hustle Live. Don't forget to subscribe and check back next week to continue hustling.